Sell them all by calling Trading Post. So pick up your telephone. Now here's your friendly host. Hello again. We've uh, changed desks. We're all set to go with the phone lines on Trading Post. Remember, once again, we do not accept calls for clothing, automobiles, or accommodation. We will not find houses or apartments, okay? Outside of that, it's your show. For example, I'm going to look at the mail first of all here. A note from Curly Allen. Now, there is no telephone here, but if you want to swap, I like the way he puts it, a chance to swap brains for bronze. Um, we'll swap a new condition CCM pneumatic exerciser rowing machine, which cost $100, and what he wants for it is a reasonable set of encyclopedia, book of knowledge, or such like. So, if you want... If you have that and you want a nice big rowing machine, costs about $100 and want to swap, there's no phone, but here's the address. You ask for Curly Allen at 613 East Hastings Street. And if you're looking for an English type creel, you know a creel, a little basket for fishing? Excellent condition, it's only $4. Here's the number to call, 921-7767. And I can't caution you enough to have a pencil and paper ready and mark down these phone numbers, please. All right, all set to go? Let's go on line number one right now. Trading Post. Hello, Mr. Wren. How do you do, sir? Uh, I have a boy's bicycle, I'd like a three-speed bicycle. I'd like to trade for girls. Uh-huh, trade for girls, eh? And uh, I also have a mantle clock, which I'd like to sell for $10. A mantle clock? Yes. For $10? Yes. All right, you want to swap a boy's bike for a girl's bike. Yes. And you have a mantle clock for $10. What yes. number, sir? Uh, 872. Yep. 1043. 1043? Yes. 872-1043. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. A boy's bike, he wants to trade it for a girl's bike. And he's got a mantle clock for $10. Okay. Trading post. Trading post. Hello. Hello. Uh, you have an electro amplifier and car? What's that again? Uh, electro car and uh, amplifier. I can't hear you, son. Speak louder, will you? Okay. You have electric car and amplifier? You, do I have an electric car? Yes, and amplifier. You want an electric car and amplifier? Yes. All right. Well, you want to buy that, eh? Yes. What number do you think people call? Hmm. Eh? 5968782. What's that again? 5968782. Yeah. 8782? Yes. Okay. If you have an electric car and amplifier, call 5968782. This young fellow wants one. Okay? And judging by the sound of his voice, he needs one. All right, go ahead, Trading Post. Trading Post. Trading Post. Trading Post. Uh, yes, I have a six-year crib for sale, and it has a new mattress, and I'd like $15 for it, please. Six-year crib, a new mattress. How much? $15. All right, the number to call? 526-3252. Mm -hmm. 3252. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. Six-year crib, new mattress, fifteen dollars. Call five two six three two five two. Keep the pencil handy, please. All right, tra trading post. Yes, I have three. Ponies. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I have three Polynesian tikis I'd like to sell. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not getting your voice down to my speaker. Will you go again? I have three Polynesian tikis I'd like to sell. Polynesian kitties. Tikis. Pussy cats. No, T I K I S. T-I-K-I-S. T-I-K-I-S. What's that? Well, they're... Oh, they're, they're uh, little good log charms and things? Yeah, only they're quite big. How big? One is 22 inches, one 37 inches, and one 48 inches. Oh, boy, I run out of arms. Yeah. Okay, uh, you want to sell them? Yes, please. Three of them, eh? Yes. Oh, that's Polynesian tikis. Yes. What do you use them for, putting on the wall or something? Uh, for interior decorating. We have them in our living room. Oh, that's kind of a good idea. Somebody's got a Polynesian theme. Okay, what's your number? 942 uh -huh. 09 yeah. 3. I'm, I'm sorry, I was talking. 09 what? 942 0923. 0923? Yes. Three Polynesian tikis. Yes. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, bye. And if you're suffering from tikis, you scratch. It's as simple as that. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trading post, go ahead. Hello, uh, I have a Smith Corona um, typewriter for sale. Smith Corona, is it portable? Uh, no, not really. A straight typewriter, all right. And, um... How new is it? Uh, it's fairly old. Fairly old, yeah. It's in good shape. It's been reconditioned. Uh-huh. And, um, I'll either trade it for a sewing machine or $35. Trade for sewing machine or... 
You'll take thirty-five dollars. All right, just a minute. I'm marking these things down. Okay, folks, uh, a Smith Corona typewriter, an old one in very good working order, has been all fixed up. Trade for a sewing machine or we'll sell it for $35. And the number to call? 738-7598. Yep. 738-7598? Yes. Thank you for calling. Let's have another look at a letter here for a minute. If you have a, a knee-hole desk of some kind you'd like to get rid of, listen to this one. I'm desirous of obtaining a small knee-hole desk, not an antique, of course, but one in good condition, which I think with, I think, three drawers on either side of the leg room <laughs> and one long one at the top. How do you do? Uh, prefer walnut, but that will be considered. The number, if you have a desk to sell, 738-1844. 738-1844. Thank you very much indeed. And let's have another one here. A Hoover electric steam iron for sale for $5. A large number of Harlequin romance pocket books, about 50 or 60 of them. They cost 40 to 45 cents each. They'll sell them for 15 cents each or two for a quarter. So if you want a pile of books and a Hoover electric steam iron for five bucks, 433-0641. Okay, let's go to line number three right now. Trading post. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yes, I have a 1955 Buick. I'm sorry, sir, we don't accept calls for automobiles. No. Hello, go ahead, Trading Post. I have a Stoker furnace for sale. Uh, a Stoker furnace? Yes, complete with the hopper, blower, two electric motors, and pipes, all in good shape. Yep, for, how for much? $50. 50 For offer, yes. A Stoker a furnace with pipe. all the works, including the pipes. Yes. Yes, $50, and the number to call? 522-2359. Uh, and I have a boy's bike, too. You have a boy's bike? For sale with a carrier, mm -hmm. and for $12. A boy's bike and carrier for 12 Yes. And a stoker furnace with all the trimmings and the pipes for 50 Yes. 522-2359. Yes, that's right. Roger. Thank you very much. Goodbye, now. Bye. Trading post. Hello, Ron. Will you speak up a little louder, please? Yes. Yes, thank you. I have a 23-inch RCA TV on a swivel base. Yeah. And I would like to swap it for a set of 850 by 14 tires in good shape. Of eight, no recap. 850 by 14 tires? Yes. A full set of them, eh? Yes. In good shape? Yeah, no recap. Okay. You or got else I'll sell it for the best offer. Okay, there you are. A 23-inch RCA TV, a swivel base, will swap for a set of 850 by 14 tires. Yes. No recaps. They must be in good shape, or yes. the lady will sell it for a bid. Now, what's your and number? It's in perfect shape. I've just had it completely checked. Okay. What's it's, your number? Uh, five two one mm -hmm. seven five eight three. Seven five eight three. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. We'll go to line three in just a minute. But I have a a letter here from um, a gentleman who I believe is a pensioner. He has a Qualcast hand mower. Used only four times. He'll sell it for $10. Uh, he's selling it through ill health. Also, a French violin with very good tone. He'll sacrifice this violin for only $25. And he wants to know if someone has an organ, not too large and reasonable, uh, he's, he's an old age pensioner he's, and a shut-in, and he would help pass the time away or a used piano. Okay? So, what have we got here again? Uh, Qualcast, Han, Moore, and what else? I had something else. A French violin for $25. The number to call, 596. Wait a minute. Whoop, there's a scratch through there. This could be 594. 9635. I think it is. 594. 9635. Thank you, sir. God bless you. All right. Trading post. Now, I have a radio out of uh, 55 Buick, and it's a uh, deluxe model. It's one of these real nice bass speakers. Yeah. And I'd like to. Trade it for a, a 1956 Vauxhall radio with an aerial attachment with it. Vauxhall with an aerial, eh? Yeah, or else I'll accept the cash offer. Or cash. Well, I guess you, you've changed cars or something, or what? Yes, I, have, I blew eh? a rod out of my... You blew a rod. That sounds like home. Yeah. All right, what's your phone number? 435. Yeah. 36. Uh-huh. 37. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, let's go to number one line. Hi. Hello. Yes. Here a purebred, three months old, Chihuahua doggy. A Chihuahua, Chihuahua. Yeah. Chihuahua. And that is thirty-five. A Chihuahua. <laughs> but then. 
I call him Chia Hua Hua. I know oh, I'm. Chia Hua Hua. He's a wifey. He's a wifey. Thirty-five dollars. Uh, yeah, that is a purebred uh, black and tan male Chihuahua pup, three months old, house broken. What you do? Hit your husband in the head and say, "Let me talk" or something? Yes, I did. You did. That's not yeah. very nice. So you got a purebred Chihuahua. Yeah, All right. Uh, ten months old, black and tan. Ten months old, black and tan. House broken. House broken. Thirty-five dollars. What's house broken? Your husband or the dog? Both of them. Both of them. All right. What's your number? Uh, and 70-piece English dinner set. Who? Oh, 70-piece? Well, English dinner set. English dinner set. $25. Uh, oh, you stopped feeding the dog, too, eh? <laughs> uh, okay, what's your number, dear? 298-9474. 298-9474? Correct. Okay. Goodbye. 298-9474. <laughs> You're looking for a, a purebred Chia Hua Hua. I know, it's Chihuahua. All right, let's go. Line one, trading post. Yeah, I have a Philco transistor radio for sale. Philco transistor radio, yep. Yeah, it's four months old. Yep. And $45 are offers. $45 are offers? Mm -hmm. Is that all? Uh, that's all, sir. All right, sir, can I have your phone number? Uh, 327. 327. 49. 49. 48. 48. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Philco transistor radio, four months old for forty-five dollars. Three two seven four nine four eight. Trading post. Hello, Hello. I have uh, Lindsay. Uh, um, so water softener. A Lindsay Princess model for sale. A Lindsay water softener. Yeah, fully automatic. Mm-hmm. And this has been used only for one year in in Ontario, and I can't use it here in Vancouver. You see. I see. All right, sir. How now much? I've got for sale uh, at nine uh, four two. No, uh, do you want to, oh, is this phone, okay, 942, go ahead. 942-9789. how much do you want for it? I want $350 for it. $350. I paid uh, 580 for it. How long ago? Oh, this was about a year ago. About a year ago. That's a good buy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. One more call. Trading Post, go ahead. Hello? Yes, yeah, speak up, please. Line three. Bought bike for sale. A what? One for the steel carrier. I didn't hear the first part. A lady's bike. A lady's bike? And it's twelve dollars. A lady's bike and carrier, twelve dollars. It's in good condition. All right. What's your phone number? Four three four. Yep. Two one three seven. Two one three seven. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. I've got to close the lines now, folks. Will you please hang up? Because we got to. I have a very special message. And please bend an ear. Blood donors are urgently needed in the B and A B groups for three male patients in the Vancouver General and St. Paul's hospitals. 250 donors of B and AB groups are needed between now and Thursday evening for these three patients. The Red Cross Clinic at 1235 West Pender will be open from 12 noon till 3 p.m. today, tomorrow, and Thursday, and from 7 to 9 p.m. Thursday, okay? So if you're a B or AB group, please get in touch with the Red Cross right away. They sure need some donors in a hurry, okay? That's about it for now. It's been nice being with you on Trading Post. Again, I want to qualify certain things. Oh, and we still got a big four cushion blue and uh, green Chesterfield brand new in chair for only $250, 987-5838 after six. Goodbye for now. See you tomorrow.